Good morning, everyone. And today I'm here to talk about the topic, did the past really happen? So i just like to start off this talk with what we know about the past. So can someone name me the two buildings shown here? Uh, the lady there. OK, can someone else name me the other building? Yes? OK, correct. <laughs> so um, there are some history fanatics in this audience. But does anyone know when the Leaning Tower of Pisa was built? Okay, never mind. It was actually, its construction started in 1170, and it astonishingly only started to lean in 1175 due to one side of the tower sinking in soft sand. So, this was just to get the presentation flowing. The question that can be asked about this is how do we know it was built in 1170 and started leaning in 1175? Well, is there a way of proving this? One could argue that some books or some reliable sources mentioned that it was created during this period. However, how do we know that those books or those websites are not lying? One cannot simply put a gun to the author's head and ask him whether he's lying or not. One of the very good examples of the idea that I'm trying to bring, bring across here is the book 1984. So for people who haven't read it, basically in it the government manipulates history in a way that suits them. So how do we know that the government, or anyone rather, hasn't manipulated with history in a way that suits them? Oh yeah, and the Leaning Tower of Pisa was actually built in 1173 and started leaning in 1178. See how easily I lied to you, but you believe me. This clearly proves the point that I'm trying to establish here, which is that how do we know that, the, that anyone hasn't manipulated with history and presented to, it to us? But a bigger question that can be asked about all this is that how do we know that all this happened? Not in a specific way, but at all. How do we know that all this ever existed or ever happened? Unfortunately, we haven't invented time machines yet. Otherwise, we could have gone and seen for ourselves. So now, how do we tackle this problem with only the resources that we have? Before I answer this question, Let's talk a bit about our future generations. So, yes, now they will be the ones suffering and wondering in 1,000 years whether how did they know that a great man really gave a speech on this stage on 7th April 2017. Well, they wouldn't be able to answer this question unless, obviously, if they've created time machines. But no matter how advanced they are, or look like this, or this alternatively, they wouldn't be able to answer this question. So. Future generations will definitely know less than us about one thing, which is right now, right here, today. No matter how much they try, they will not know exactly what we know about today. They won't know the actual purpose behind our beliefs. One example of this is the Indian belief of throwing coins in the river. The actual purpose of this in the early times was to purify the water because the coins were made of copper. The copper caused the dirty water to stay down so that the clean water could be accessed from above. But now, the practice still goes on, but the coins are not made of copper anymore. The practice is still being followed, but the cause has been lost over the period of time. Okay, that example was a bit off topic, but how do we know that the universe wasn't created last Thursday, or even today morning, or maybe to be very extreme, even a minute ago? So um, I'll be talking about one of the examples of this is the argument last Thursdayism. So last Thursdayism states that last Thursdayism is the idea that the universe was created last Thursday, but with the physical appearance of being billions of years old. Under last Thursdayism, books, fossils, light already on the way from distant stars, and literally everything, including your memories of the time before last Thursday, were all formed at the time of the creation in a state said that they appear much older. Okay, so let me just summarize this for you so that you can digest this all in quickly. So basically, the theory argues that the universe was created last Thursday and all our memories just popped into existence. Okay, so all these structures possibly came about last Thursday and it's just that our memories are in such a way that we think that these were created in years such as 1173. This idea was put across by Mr. Bertrand Russell. 
Is there anyone in this room that can prove this theory to be wrong? No? See, this story might not actually be true. Maybe the universe was really created billions of years ago. It's just that the theory can't be proved wrong and isn't falsifiable. Now, let's go back to our future generations for a bit. So just to recap, future generations will know more than us in the field of science and other subjects, but will not know more than us about today. Future generations won't be able to experience this feeling that we are feeling today, which is of excitement, obviously. So is there another way that future generations will be able to prove our existence? Yes, there is. And it's called energy, more specifically, entropy. So what is entropy? Entropy is the total amount of energy present in the universe that can't be converted to any other form of energy. Basically, in simple layman terms, useless energy. So why is this energy useless? Because it can't be converted to any other form of energy. Therefore, it can't be used. So uh, the second law of thermodynamics states that entropy always increases with time. Therefore, future generations, and us too, honestly, can make use of this law to prove the past existence. Because if the past did not exist, no entropy should be present. Because entropy increases by a small amount every time an energy transformation takes place. An increasing amount of entropy will lead to the heat death of the universe. The heat death of the universe will be at the point that no work could be done. Because all the energy has become entropy and has b basically become useless. So lazy people are actually in some way considerate and try to postpone the heat death of the universe because they make less energy transformations because they do less work. So whenever someone asks you, why are you so lazy again? You know the answer. You're just trying to postpone the heat death of the universe. So without time machines, actually proving the past without time machines can only be done through the use of entropy. Now, you might be wondering, how in the world did he get from, did the past really happen to the heat death of the universe? Well, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Thank you for listening.